You could never make yourself right with Him. We couldn't make ourselves right with God. He's a holy God. He hates sin. He's not the God that we imagine in our mind. He's the God of Scripture. So much more than having now been justified by His blood, that's people that have trusted in Jesus Christ, have turned from sin. That's the key. How does a person get right with God? It's through turning away from sin and trusting in Jesus Christ. It's not through having an intellectual belief in Jesus Christ and living a life of sin. God is holy and He commands the people that He's created to be holy as He's holy. And the way to be made holy or right with God is through Jesus Christ alone. God's provision. This is good news. It says, much more than having now been justified by His blood, we shall be saved. So the Bible makes it clear that you've got to be saved. You're not already saved. You're not born saved. You're not born right. You've got to be made right with God. But listen to what it says. See if this fits in your belief or your concept of God. I'm pretty sure it won't, but this is God's truth. Maybe you'll learn something today. Maybe God will convict your heart. Listen to what it says. Maybe you've never heard this in your life. We shall be saved from the wrath of God through Him. That's the truth of the Bible. That we can be saved from the wrath of God through Jesus Christ. That's God's love. The Bible says that in John 3.36, that God's wrath abides upon humanity. That's the truth. Read it. Make sure I'm not twisting the Scripture. It says, He who believes in the Son has life. He who does not obey the Son, the wrath of God abides upon him. That's the truth. No one likes that truth, though. That can be good news to your soul, your soul though. <clears throat> so why does God's wrath abide upon us? Why do we need to be saved? It's because God is holy. God hates sin. We have all sinned. Let me convince you of that. Look into the mirror of God's law, the Ten Commandments. The Ninth Commandment says, Thou shalt not lie. <laughs> if you've ever told a lie, you'd be a liar in God's sight. The Eighth Commandment says, Thou shalt not steal. If you've ever stolen, you're a thief in God's sight. The Seventh Commandment says, Thou shalt not commit adultery. Jesus said, if you look at a woman to lust for her, you've committed adultery with her already in your heart. That law is meant to help you. It's meant to show you your true state, that just looking at three of those commandments, you're a lying thief and adulterer in your heart. And you will perish in your sins if you do not flee to Jesus Christ. There's mercy for you, folks. <clears throat> There's mercy available. God does not want to pour out His wrath on us. That's why He sent His one and only Son, Jesus Christ. Listen to the love of God. Listen to the love of Jesus towards you. Jesus willingly came, left heaven, came to earth, and lived the perfect sinless life that we were required to live. He lived it in our place so it could be credited to our account through our faith in Him. He also went to the cross, sinless and perfect. And He died on the cross for our sins. And on the cross, He bore God's wrath, God's holy anger towards us and our sin. It was satisfied. There's a word in the Bible called propitiation. And it means that Jesus' offering has satisfied the wrath of God forever. We can be made right with God. <clears throat> we can become a child of God. A lot of people believe we're all children of God. Read the Bible. Is that true? No, it says you must become a child of God. And the only way to do that is through turning from sin and placing your trust in Christ. God will not be fooled. He will not be mocked. On Judgment Day, your sin will find you out. God is not okay with us professing a belief in Him and living habitually in sin. 
Jesus warned that those people, he would say to them, depart from me. I never knew you, you workers of iniquity. They would be cast into hell. So God wants us to 